Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Katrina Velarde singing Reflections. She just released this three weeks ago. She's one of my favorites and I have not heard her sing for a while. So I'm excited to react to this. Now, if you're a singer and you're looking for a community to join, come join the Singing Collective. It's a free Facebook community where we talk about singing. I go live once a week with, with voice lessons and tips and tricks and we just have a whole lot of fun together. I'll put the link in the description for that. Also, big news, I just joined TikTok, so come have fun with me on TikTok. <laughs> My handle is voice teacher Lauren. So um, I have a couple up already. I'm totally just learning how to do it, so come join in the fun there. And I'm excited to see you guys and interact with you, maybe do some duets um on tiktok so without further ado uh give this video a thumbs up and please click subscribe you know you guys know how much it helps us creators on youtube when you subscribe to us and we really appreciate it and let's listen to katrina okay here we go pressing play <laughs> But you never know me every day It's as if I play a part Now I see If I wear a mask I can fall Okay, super, super tasteful use of runs. She is definitely using them um, in places that is not are not in the original, um, but they're not too wild. She's just outlining little scales, three note scales, five note scales, and it really adds a lot of her to it. The thing I really like about this recording is it's not over edited. So even though it was filmed in a studio and it's a music video, we really can hear the intricacies of her voice. There's not a lot of overlaying filler sound that they used or kind of a filter, which as you guys know, most music is very, very heavily <laughs> manipulated, but this is a pretty, pretty raw. Um, so what you're hearing is, is really probably very, very close to what she sounds like. Okay, let's keep going. Fool the world, but I cannot fool my heart. Oh, it's that girl I see staring straight back at me. When will my reflection show? Okay, awesome. And you know what? She's also using some female falsetto. When will my reflection show? Right, so that, you can hear all the air passing through my vocal folds. That really is what a female falsetto is. She's doing it very beautifully right now. It's very on trend to use female falsetto, whereas maybe 10 years ago, you wouldn't hear it as much, but it's an interesting kind of development that's been happening in pop music over the last couple years and it actually really lends itself well for a song like this um especially if you don't want to go into it belting because if you use a female falsetto you are switching into head voice but your vocal folds aren't coming together all the way so you're using a lot more air um which facilitates a lighter sound and an easier sound without having a really really intense pinging sound or more of an operatic sound. So really nice choices by her. It's very, very classy. Let's keep going. Oh, I am inside. I am now in a world where I have to hide my heart and what I believe in. But somehow I will show the world What's inside of my heart and be love for who I am? Oh, oh, oh.
to actually pause it and then re uh, come 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 back a little bit. So that was such a great build. Um, a lot of times I talk about the build of a song, and I talk about that so that when you guys are working on your singing, you can really think about how does this song progress and where does it move to, right? So. Right now, like when she started, like I was saying, she was in her female falsetto, and now she's moving into a higher belt on my reflection show, right? So she was really able to get much louder. She got a different sound with the belt than she had with the female falsetto, and it definitely was more intense. But I really liked the choice she made to save that for the middle. And now we're going in to the next verse. She is queen of the runs right now. I mean, some of those are really difficult and have, you know, 10 or more notes associated with them. Um, but I want you to notice that whenever she's doing them, she really keeps her mouth quite open, uh, like in an O or in an A, ah, and um, sometimes even in an E, eh, those are some open vowels that you can more easily do runs on. When I see a lot of people trying to do runs, they, their mouths are totally closed. <laughs> open your mouth. Okay, let's keep going. There's a heart that must be for me. Yes, Katrina, so gorgeous. So a um, couple things about that last part. The key changed, I think, two times, if I heard it correctly. Again, I haven't listened to this before. So um, one time it changed, like when she was doing in the run, and then the next time it changed when she was going back in to repeat the chorus again, um, if I heard it correctly. <laughs> and that is just really difficult, I mean, to be able to switch keys in the middle of a run, wow, because she's going up, you know, the, the keys were changing up. And that was crazy. Now, one thing I really want you to um, notice about her performance is that even when she puts a lot of emotion into the voice, into the dynamic contrasts, into her face, her body looks calm. Right? She's never squeezing her body. Her neck doesn't look crazy, right? She's not doing this. She's not doing this. She's her her jaw is relaxed. Her throat is relaxed. She is standing very firm. Even when she uses her arms and even when she uses her face to communicate. So a lot of times when we are singing, we get distracted by this idea of needing to really, really, really make it passionate. And Katrina in this song especially is a great example of how singing passionately doesn't mean tensing your whole body. It actually a lot of times refers to how we're communicating the words. Like I said, the contrast that we're using, um, our hands, our hand motions, and especially our facial expressions. Our facial expressions are really where it's at. And then she brings us to this very last introspective chorus where she goes back to the female falsetto sound, um, which I just think that was 
genius and really, really brings the song full circle instead of just ending the song and uh, in a bell like when will my reflection show <laughs> you know she really brings the emotions full circle to be more introspective on that final final refrain so amazing katrina so great um and i want to thank you guys for always requesting her from me um hopefully you guys love this reaction video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it i want to give our uh dog caregiver <laughs> arthur a shout out if he's watching this he is one of the first people to recognize me on the streets from my youtube channel and he takes care of our dog twice a week um so i'm gonna link in case any of you guys live in dc i'm gonna link his business in the description as well and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day don't forget to join us in the singing collective i hope that you have an amazing day and we'll talk soon